Shell, welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. <laughs> and today we're gonna be blasting Denmark's Undergang Golden Lager Alasar on MSUO, Extremely Rotten Productions, and Dark Descent Records. Fuck yes. The fact that they traveled from Denmark to Oakland to record with the evil wizard himself, Greg Wilkinson, speaks volumes, literally, of how fucking heavy this beast is. Hands down, my favorite release of theirs. I know Misanthropology is fucking great, but I really, for the longest time, loved their debut, but... When I first heard this, that was the writing on the wall. That man's brains, pretty much, was just like, wow. This is so fucking heavy and just, wow. Everything about death metal that's fucking disgusting, heavy, and awesome has been captured, including the cosmetics. Like, this stomach pink is so sick. It's just a great reissue, and it sounds amazing. Greg Wilkinson did an amazing job, and Dave and company just absolutely brought the filth. Cannot wait for the new material, especially since they're a four-piece. Oh, man. But today's video goes out to John Randall, who is getting a procedure today. Hopefully all goes well. John, you're the fucking man. Hails. But uh, we're going to be discussing this absolute slab of legit sonic hatred and warfare that is Vessel of Iniquity, Void of Infinite Horror. Holy shit. On Sentient Ruin Laboratories... This is a fucking beast right here. If you're a fan of noisy black death metal, oh yeah, with some industrial elements, then this is for you. Fucking insane sounding. Like, it's literally like you're getting a glimpse inside the mind of like a legit fucking maniac. Like, if a maniac knew how to play music and whatnot, as this is all envisioned and executed by A. White, mastered by James Plotkin. I love this right here. I think it's just sick as fuck looking. Glory to Babylon, mother of abomination that riddeth upon the beast, for she has spilled their blood in every corner of the earth. Now, what do Vessel of Iniquity sound like? Now, I don't know how much you ladies and gentlemen know about noise and like power electronics and stuff like that, but imagine a band like Blue Sabbath, Black Cheer, fucking Titan Blood, while Nelt wrote jerks off in the corner. I, I, I would say that, you know, pretty much sums up this slab of legit sonic fucking hatred that's in my hands. Like, it's a great mix of, like, Null Their Tongues, Abruptium, Pig Heart Transplant, and fellow UK country mates, White House. Like, holy fucking shit. There's so... And... I would go as far as even Portal, Impetuous Ritual, Titan Blood, like, there's so much influence on here that this is just, to me, everything sick about extreme music. And something that, if it would have came out in, like, the 80s, like, definitely would have been up there with, like, Scorn, Godflesh... Maybe even surpassing those bands just due to how gnarly this sounds. Like, 
I know there was bands like Swans and whatnot doing something different than everyone else that was just absolutely punishing. But this is punishing in its own way as it pummels you to the ground into sonic submission. This is a fucking beast. This is extreme music for fans of extreme music. Like, this is not for, you know, people that want that, like, style of music that the Beatles invented, where there's, like, you know, something, something, chorus, and you go, bet. Fuck songwriting. Throw that book out the window. This is just auditory fucking warfare. And I really, really love how they took the intense savagery of bands like Titan Blood, Nelt Rote, Impetuous Ritual, and put it in that fucking blender of harsh noise with an overhanging, unsettling, industrial vibe. And it's fucking great because it works! Some bands try this type of stuff and it just falls flat. And it's just like, what, what the fuck was that? What did I just listen to? Or what did I just buy? This, on the other hand, to me, is like... Very thought-provoking, unsettling, and just gnarly. You get five tracks and like 24 minutes of just... Insanity! Like, I can't imagine listening to this. If you live in Denver, go... To the dispensary, buy some mushrooms, and once you're at your peak, throw this on and let me know how you feel. <laughs> because I'm sure this is one of those records that can make a good trip go bad like that. It's fucking awesome. Like, I love how sinister this sounds. Everything about this release, um, the hype sticker is pretty on point as well. I don't know who write, who writes Sentient Ruins hype stickers, but they do a very, very good job and sum this up better than I ever could and a lot fucking faster, but Ritual Black Death Noise Invocation. A twisted and horrific mosaic of modern and visionary extreme metal. Blending the grand noise, the grand noise, <laughs> and bludgeoning sonic warfare of black death bands like Titan Blood and Impetuous Ritual. I would throw Portal in there as well. With the massacring industrial noise of Null Their Tongues and Abruptium. It's pretty on the money. It says it's colored vinyl, but. It's definitely on black, but that doesn't matter because what matters are tunes like fucking Invocation of the Heart Girl with a Serpent, Babylon, Void of Infinite Sorrow, Mother of Abomination, and closing things out is Once More Into the Abyss. All five of these tracks are great, but like, yo... Babylon? Holy shit. It, it's, it's fucking insane. Like, seriously, it's, it, it's insane. And same goes for Invocation of the Heart Girl with the Serpent. But, like, my favorite track on here is probably... I don't know. All, all of them, actually. But if I had to choose, it would probably be Void of Infinite Sorrow. But everything's just fucking savage, and I love it. Like, seriously, I, I, I love this type of stuff. Just super noisy and just hateful sounding. And it's hard to do that sometimes. And when it's done right, you get 45 RPMs of fucking madness. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. I mean, maybe this is... Is that blue? 
I think that's supposed to be blue, but I can't tell. I'm kind of colorblind anyway, and it doesn't matter. Because it sounds fucking great. And that's all that does matter at the end of the day. And I know not everyone watching this is going to enjoy this, as this is a very unsettling slab of noisy black death. And, you know, I know not everybody out there knows about bands like Blue Sabbath, Black Cheer, Pig Heart Transplant, but look into them and whatnot. Like, especially if you're a fan of power violence, then you already know about, you know, the noise aspects and whatnot. And imagine a band like Full of Hell if they didn't have to worry about, like, a label like Relapse looking over their shoulders and being like, hey, there's probably too much noise going on here right now. We need to sell more color variants and not care so much about the actual music. As they're one of those labels that only, in my opinion, care about this at this point in time. But that's my own personal problems, which I'm not going to go into at this point in time. But... Right here is a slab of sonic hatred done right. One man, one mind, and Vessel of Iniquity is just fucking sick. Void of Infinite Horror is just that, except for it's Void of Infinite Horror for 24 minutes. But you're just going to be flipping this over and enjoying it or just being horrified and hiding under your bed for each time you spin this bad boy on your turntable. Absolutely awesome stuff. From the UK, one man and five tracks of ritual black death noise. That is Vessel of Iniquity, Void of Infinite Horror on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. Fucking awesome. And thank you, John Randall. And thank you, Sentient Ruin, for killing it. And best wishes to John in the hospital for this procedure. I know it's not a big procedure, but still, you know. He's the fucking man, and without him, you know, he's just a good dude. But we were blasting on the gong... Durin Laga al -Azhar on MSUO, Extremely Rotten Productions, and Dark Descent Records. Fuck yes. Kill Town Death Metal. I love this record so goddamn much. Just, ah, oh, so fucking crushing. But, as always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Get in the vessel of iniquity. <laughs>